Yo, what's going on YouTube? Energetic here, back with another video. So for today's video, guys, I just want to talk real quickly about tokens and my team in this state of the game. And I want to talk about if they're worth it or not to grind for tokens. Now, the best way for you to get tokens right now would be to play Triple Threat online. But you can also get them by completing collections and stuff. We all know this. But I just want to talk about if they're worth it because 2K is getting to the point where they're dropping a lot of really good cards through packs so you might not want to really grind out tokens anymore so i'm going to just talk about why and just see what can tokens really get you now right so we just got a token market update so you, you know we obviously they added in the tony parker which i already redeemed they added in a couple pink diamonds which i have not redeemed yet because honestly i don't need them my, my team is good enough without them. So with, that would be Paul Millsap and Reggie Lewis. Two really good cards. Um, but not really anything that I need. So I won't be redeeming these guys probably ever. I don't know. But they're good cards. And then we also got Diamond Brook Lopez, which is good. And then we got Isaiah Ryder, which is also good. So I won't be redeeming any of these players. Like I said, I don't need them. But, you know, it's it's cool that they added them in. Just for the people who will probably never reach the Galaxy Opal board, who don't have as much time on their hands, who don't spend money in the game. So then they also have the token market open here where you can buy these spotlight packs and we can buy a couple legacy packs. Now, honestly, guys, do not ever open anything here unless you're just unless you literally have no use for your tokens. You have like thousands upon thousands of tokens and you have no reason to spend them. Yeah, You have nothing to spend them on. That, that's the only time I could see you wasting tokens on these packs because realistically, what can you get from these packs? I mean, all of these legacy ones are trash. Like the, the pink diamonds that are on the cover of the packs, they're not good. You don't want these pink diamonds for your team. The only one I would, if I were to open any of them, any of them, it would be Bill Walton because Bill Walton goes for a lot on the auction house. He might have dropped a little bit just because they released those packs and they weren't available at all let's take a look at how much he goes for all right guys you know what scratch what i just said do not open any of those packs i didn't know he was gonna drop this much people are pulling him that much from those packs that's the only way you can get them wow that's insane you know that that's good though because is there any of those legacy are any of these legacy players going for a lot because i might have to complete that collection for tokens but then should i even because what am i going to spend the tokens on right all right, let's see how much these other cards are going for. So, Earl Monroe's cheap. George Mikan is still cheap. Sidney Moncrief is still cheap. Bernard King is still cheap. And then Bill Walton is obviously the most expensive one of all of them, but still cheap. Or not still cheap. He became cheap after they put those packs out. That's crazy. Because if, if you get all of these five guys, you get 200 tokens. So that could be an incentive to complete this now. But what, what me personally, what would I spend the tokens on? I mean, I can get Grant Hill. If I get Grant Hill, let's let's take a look. Where would he go on my team? I would take off Dominique Wilkins for sure. And then I would probably move Zach Levine a little further down the bench. And it would make my team a little bit better. I'd have a I'd have a nice Galaxy Opal coming off my bench. Because Dominique Wilkins. He, I don't really, he doesn't get any minutes. Like, look, he's literally getting zero minutes on my team. That's really the only use I have for Grant Hill. But, you know, the, the by the time I would get 750 tokens, they would probably release another player who is better than Grant Hill. And then I would get that player, whoever he is. Also, tomorrow, we're getting Brandon Roy. So, I'm getting Brandon, I won't be getting Brandon Roy tomorrow because I'm going to be focusing on the spotlight player instead of Brandon Roy. But... The Brandon Roy, once I do get him, I'll get him down the line eventually. He He's going to be taking the spot of Dominique Wilkins. And then I'll probably send Ray Allen to the bench. So Brandon Roy can run the two. That's what I'm saying. Like, what purpose would I have in picking up a Grant Hill off the token market when I'm going to have Brandon Roy? And then, you know, there's other players who are going to come out through packs who are going to be better. Obviously, they just started up the Prime Series 2. You know, those players are always good. They're probably going to be better than these Opals here. Penny Hardaway, I would never pick this card up ever. I mean, he's good, but he's the worst of all the options on the board. So if 
you're at a place like me where you already redeemed two opals from the tokens from the token market and i mean there's nothing for you to really do at this point i mean maybe if you want to get your collector level up you can just start i can just start buying like all these emeralds just to get my collector levels that i mean i guess that that is a good incentive right just to get my collector level up so i can get closer to what is it the um you know all the galaxy opals at the bottom like anthony davis d wade and stuff like that so really that's the only incentive for me to get tokens now let me know if, if i should do that should i grind tokens so i can buy players off the token market just to get my collector level up there because that's really the only thing that i can do at this point unless they were to update the token market again but i already have the players that are good from there so i don't think i'll be doing that anymore now if you're not a fiend like me who spends all all day playing the game and has all these all these tokens and all these opals tokens are still good for you because you can still work towards the opals and at this state of the game having yourself tony parker and uh what's his dude's name david robinson they're still great players they're still some of the best players in the game so and david robinson is probably going to be one of the best centers in the game for for a while and tony parker is going to be a great card for a while he just came out so if you want to work towards those two definitely grind the tokens out but do not open the packs from the token market and i'd say just probably don't buy grant hill and don't don't buy um penny hardaway definitely don't buy penny hardaway if you're gonna buy anybody buy anyone but penny hardaway okay now if they did put better packs on the token market right here then it would be useful like if they were to put some prime packs in here that would be great but you know 2k is not gonna do that man they just they just won't they're gonna put in the garbage stuff for the tokens like who who wants to open up a d wade pack and get me a amethyst mellow like for what reason would i do that why would i open up a kg pack and get me amethyst paul pierce or kobe why would i open up these packs with clyde drexler to get me a diamond brandon roy when galaxy opal brandon roy comes out tomorrow like this doesn't make any sense if they were to put better better packs in here then it would be worth it maybe throw in some flash packs people would definitely like to get tokens at that point you throwing flash packs on there let's take a look at the collection see what else what other kind of packs they can throw some moments in there why not put every kind of pack in there put some prime packs like you don't have to put every type of prime pack maybe put d rose maybe or, or t mac or you know something like that you know like don't just limit us to the the worst kind of packs in the game for the tokens that's not that's not cool man oh put some new year's packs in there like you know th that would be cool but that's gonna be it for this video guys if you enjoyed make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe man i want to know what your thoughts are in the comments and also we are on the road to 900 subs we're trying to get there very soon and then we're going to be on the road to a thousand subs so i would appreciate if you guys subscribe if you're not are subscribed already and that's going to be it for this video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out